Welcome everybody, I'm Only Gamer. Today we return with Only Crafter, and I hope all of you are having an absolute amazing day living that only life, of course. And well, today in my hands is my majestic glaze, just enchanted, wonderful iron sword, which we did get lucky and fortunate enough to obtain by finding in a little bit of a uh, what was it? A, a temple of some sort. We found the enchanted book, and then we were able to bring it forth onto our sword and it gave us fire aspect and it's just absolutely amazing so yeah with that being said though i hope all you people are having an amazing day you know just freaking enjoying your life lightning rudolph and rapidash is out there of course just chilling like always and then in the last part where we left off if you guys made it to the end uh we we happened to accomplish so much we found so much e excellent stuff in the last part and uh we actually got some cookies carrots and melons so it was absolutely astounding if you missed it you might want to go check it out because it was definitely a great part of full of exploration it just was it was astounding in every way but this is the excellent hall of fame the place where all the future signs will go and it's going to be glorious it's going to be glazed and just perfected with gold uh perhaps in the future i mean right now we're working we're still getting established but yeah this is going to be known as the hall of fame that way where you guys get a chance to get in the hall of fame with every part of this series and how do you do that well all you got to do is leave support on the series and uh drop some comments and uh it's just people that support of course so uh as you can tell i got a lot of cobblestone from digging all that and my inventory is a little bit cluttered so i did not realize that i should have probably cleaned this up a little bit prior to the episode but we're fine and we're gonna go ahead and grab this awesome uh, 64 stack of stone and get a sign for the new the very first person that's actually gonna be on the in the Hall of Fame which this is kind of something to you know th this person is gonna be remembered because it's the fr freaking first person to get up on there so um what we need to do is make sure we have everything to make a sign and uh, without further ado we're just gonna go ahead and place this person up so this person's gonna go right here I'd say so their name is, I'm going off the YouTube name here, um, let's see, alright, so OG Army, okay, so, uh, basically, I'm reading the comment they posted here, so it's very awesome. Um, basically states keep up the great work ONG army unite and that is what's up hashtag only gamers ONG army we're taking over and I'm I'm loving that we are just honestly consuming YouTube in a, a freaking fast manner and it's no joke we're really freaking taking over so Bella 8910 congratulations for making it up on the wall you will be here for good the very first person in the Hall of Fame and trust me this place is gonna look very 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 much so better in due time and uh, I'm also gonna connect it to our future uh, housing area uh, which you guys will see and we're gonna work on it just a little bit but also I must kind of go into what we're gonna be doing in this part we're gonna be going to the nether to perhaps make our way to the nether fortress perhaps explore it just a little bit I don't know depending on the time restraint that we have today we may just be making our way there but we also have to worry about the gas and all the other creepy stuff in there but uh, yeah so right away what did I have the stone for I had it to go ahead and make some stone bricks because of course I have to have that polished walkway uh, kind of going around so let's go ahead and get our stone brick out there right something like so yes and then this is gonna go along the walls here uh, just because it looks nice and I love having that nice trim of stone bricks going around there I don't know about you guys but it definitely looks excellent so this place is gonna come along in due time and I happened to pick up quite a bit of coal just from you know clearing this area out so it was quite spiffy in its own way but uh yeah so we have that dealt with and I guess we're gonna go head on out and go up here we also gonna make some staircases perhaps we should go ahead and do that so I do believe we have some wood on our side nope of course we don't why I always like I think we have plenty of wood but no we never do so I'm gonna go grab a little bit of that just to make some stairs uh, I do believe I probably have some stairs in a, uh, in a, a chest somewhere but do you know how that goes <laughs> freaking what does it I have chests? yes I, I play so much crazy stuff I don't need in chests. Uh, it's just freaking bizarre but uh, yeah so we're gonna go ahead and get just a few trees chopped down here I'll go ahead and transfer that into wood like so 40 wooden planks should be enough to make enough staircase for that uh, it's something we can work on and perfect in due time and uh, it's just gonna be freaking excellent so go here we got so much to freaking do all right so uh, 12 might do the trick let's go see all right now uh, I want to be sure I have some room for all the loot we may obtain while in the freaking excellent place known as the nether. Now, the nether is kind of scary, I will say. And look at that. Just two more extras. So, uh, I obviously, I really care about how this looks. So, I mean, I'm going to be, you know, not, not bad. We got a lot to adjust and add. But what we mainly want to do now is get this dug out a little bit. So, speed up the video starting now. Thank you. 
Alright, so welcome back everybody. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that little speed up with some nice intriguing music of some sort, yeah. So so basically I dug out the entrance to what this place was be. I was kinda just flowing with it, seeing what it came to be and uh, how it was gonna kinda uh you know turn out and this is gonna be it. This is gonna be the entrance to our new home and hopefully what we will do, the Hall of Fame will have a staircase that comes up through the inside of our home here, which is gonna be freaking awesome and it's gonna look good and it's hard to kinda uh, uh describe my vision on how it is gonna look. It's gonna be freaking awesome awesome so uh yeah so with that being said though i'm also going to put a balcony here because what better way to wake up in the morning you know come out and get a nice view walk out on the balcony and be like ah and then of course down here we're gonna have an excellent garden of some sort that we will eventually get to work in on of course so yeah it's gonna be awesome to have a garden perhaps some uh you know, just some nice water, uh, flowers, and freaking uh, wheat, and stuff of that sort, which will be an excellent food source. And, of course, we'll build an epic place for Rapidash. Honestly, should build him like a barn, considering he's so freaking epic. And I still have yet to get him hay, so I know he's probably a little bit like, Oh, gee, you said you were going to give me hay like 50 parts ago. And I'm like, dude, I got you. Don't worry. It's freaking on the way, dude. I got to freaking start some farms and stuff. And then we got the sugar cane down there, which is freaking excellent. But I do believe now we must... Venture forth into the nether to complete our objective in getting closer to the nether fortress. I have plenty of cobblestone to spare. So, in the last part, we did obtain some cookies. So, I'm going to be the cookie monster in this part and get my crumbs everywhere. So, yes, yeah, so we're going to chop down on some cookies, get crumbs everywhere. But, hey, I had to turn into the cookie monster. She's a like, cookie skeleton, I guess you could say. That's my name, the cookie skeleton. Freaking Owen G, a.k.a. Cookie Skeleton in here. All right, but enough of that. Uh, also, I needed to put down some cobblestone for the flooring in here. For the time being, uh, we may switch it up and put some red carpet to walk throughout here. I think that would be quite elegant looking. Uh, but yeah, so as I'm saying, there will be a staircase that goes up, hopefully right into where our house was up there. So... It's going to be freaking awesome. So, I love this room so far. And it's going to be awesome when there's so many signs in here. But, yes, moving on. Uh, Lightning Rudolph, guard the place and be safe because I'm going to be in a dangerous place. Uh, as I rhyme accidentally. But, uh, all right. So, here we go into the nether once more to make sure I have my flint and steel on me. Should I store anything? Let's store uh, some of the stuff we're not going to be using in case we do get in that nether fortress a lot sooner than I anticipated. And, uh, well, we're going to need plenty of inventory space. So, I got some wool here. Oh, this is really supposed to be a valuable chest. And now it's just a bunch of blogs. It's like, well, this kind of happened. I, I don't really know what you want from me. Um, so put a carrot, some melons, everything of that sort in there, and everything seems to be good. Now, huh, I, I I think I think everybody's out there probably like, oh, gee, put your diamond freaking pickaxe in there just in case. And I'm like, your your use is right. All right, so let's uh, let's definitely do that. And the reason why I wanted to be sure I did that, and I'm gonna make another pickaxe just for you know the in case. So. Uh, the reason why I went ahead and put my diamond pickaxe, if you die in the nether, you're not necessarily confirmed to have all your stuff back. Because the nether is a very frightful and not so great place at times. Uh, so we definitely want to fill in still like this. But uh, yes, yeah, so you could die in the nether very easily and fall in lava, is what I'm saying. So if that happens, then obviously all my stuff is going to burn and it's just going to be like freaking noobs everywhere, dude. Alright, so the nether fortress is of course over here. And we also have to keep in mind we may run into some wither skeletons. Now, wither skeletons are obviously something we do need to out the zombie baby. He's all pigments so cute over there. Uh, but they're all freaking gassed already. Oh, speaking of gassed and excellent stuff. Uh, gassed are not excellent, though. I will say that. But we do need the quartz. The quartz is going to be a great help in leveling back up, considering we were level 30. But, well, that kind of changed. And I hear explosions everywhere around me. Oh, my God, Lava. All right. All right. So get that XP. Level 10 already. Who dodge, bob, and weave here, man. This is going to be crazy. All right. I'm going to have to freaking kill it. Come on, noobs. Come on, bro. Oh, I still haven't got a boat. Hey, bro, get down here, bro. Come on. I'm killing this gas. Come here. Oh, bro, you almost got it, bro. You want to get down here? Uh, come level with me, bro. I am freaking take you down, man. I wonder how much XP you guys give. Oh, get out of here, man. Oh, man, they're not playing. They're really look. All right, I'm out. I'm out. They're too difficult for me. I ain't ready for that. All right. Let's see what's over here. Uh, how am I going to get over there with the freaking gas shooting in my face, dude? Oh, man, that's a lot. Oh, freaking no. I'm on fire. Oh, okay, good. I'm all right. There's three gas here. Are you serious? The nether is just abs- You know, when I first started playing, I never had a problem with gas spawning so much in the nether, but now it seems to be the normal thing that happens day to day. Oh, one of them died. Do one of them kill one another? Wouldn't that be something? All right, nether wart. Not bad. I could take that for alchemy. Um, oh, oh. Is this part of the fortress? Yes. Oh, my gosh. This is so dangerous. There's so much quartz, though. Why is there no wither skeletons? <gasps> there they are. Oh, my God. I'm scared for my life. I'm so scared. Okay. Oh, they're all over there. Oh, what just hit me? Oh, no. I'm so scared. This place is creepy, guys, especially when you have to worry about dying 24-7. 
Oh my god, the amount of gas right now is just absolutely unheard of. This is just unreal, guys. We come in here for one thing, and that is... Well, we know we can get to the Nether Fortress now. Um, alright, I gotta eat again. Oh my gosh, chill, guys. There's so many. Alright, screw it. Nether, nether freaking withered skeletons. Come on. Ooh. Are they on me? Are they after me? Nope, freaking dude, stop, dude. Dude, you're not cool, man. Alright, this is definitely not what I planned. I can't even... Uh-oh. Ooh! They're mad! Ooh! Okay. Are they after me? Yes, they're after me. Alright, let's farm some of these things. Go! Alright, I got fire aspect on me, bro. Get at me, bro. Alright, what'd you drop? Anything? Alright, I need a wither skull, man. Uh-oh, he's after me. Alright. Let's get... Let's get... Well... I, I'm actually just ignoring the gas right now. I don't know if that's a good idea, but uh, whatever. We're, we're gonna roll with it for now. Ooh, jump over the fire, go! Don't let him get a hit on me. Alright, so far so good. Oh, got him, he did. Oh, did he wither affect me? He did! Alright, don't move, don't move, don't move. Got him, got him, got him. Alright, get the XP, get the XP. There's more, there's more, there's gas everywhere. We gotta retreat. Ugh, jump over that, go! Alright, Soul Sand's gonna slow us down, right? Is it after me? Yes, he is, he's catching himself on fire. This is literally a battlefield full of flames! Oh my god! Okay, come on, come on. Alright, bro, you gotta come and continue. We're gonna kill you, go! Yeah, freaking get marked, noob. Alright, wish him drop a skull and I don't get it. Ugh. Alright, gotta get one. No, sadly I didn't. Alright. We got some nether wart, though. We can start another wart farm a little bit. Alright. Oh, this is just absolutely just unheard of, guys. We're gonna have to come back at a later date when we have a bow. That's the only right. We're gonna go make a bow in this part, definitely. I mean, I'm a skeleton. After all, after all this, I still haven't got a bow. What time is, What type of skeleton am I? I mean, that's just absolutely disgraceful to my race. Okay, um, let me go freaking get out of here, man. Ugh. All right, we're gonna come back. Oh, come on, dude. Let's freaking get out of here, man. They're blowing up my portal. All right, so we did get some Wither Skeleton kills, which I do believe the chance of a Wither Skull dropping is like one uh, out of 100, 200. So, uh, yeah, the odds are not, uh, you know, the best, but uh, hopefully we can get one of those. So, we found the Nether Fortress, and it looks like we're going to have a clear way in. And now I know there's going to be a lot of loot, so we may get us some more saddles and name tags and stuff of that sort, which, if you ask me, is going to be great because then we can finally name Lightning Rudolph in our future companion. And I have a feeling a special character is going to be making his way back here very soon in the series. A lot of people may know who I'm talking about, and uh, I'm very, very happy, so happy that this character is going to be returning you guys have no clue but uh yeah um we kind of got in there we got some nether wart oh, i didn't get soul sand though disappointing i was wanting to plant the nether wart so we could slowly grow it all right well i don't really have a place for it anyways it's kind of disappointing i did want to start growing the nether wart but i plan on making an alchemy room and a nether wart room entirely just for itself so we can grow that stuff specially uh perhaps i should make an indoor melon farm or pumpkin farm i could possibly do that I, I don't know it's something to think about it we do need some melons because they're going to be a really good source of food although i have plenty of pork chops and beef as far i usually go on hunting missions quite a bit and we may take lightning and rudolph on another hunting mission here in the next part or two so yeah with that being said i do believe this is a perfect part and air time to end this episode so yeah so i must thank you all for sticking along and making it to the end of the episode if you did once more if you made it to the end crush that like button and i must say it's just awesome to receive feedback from all you guys and i do appreciate it and i hope to see many more of you on the hall of fame in the hall of fame i guess you could say uh, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be awesome. Much more grand journeys, much more to build, and so much to work towards. I swear that Nether War Fortress is gonna have so much freaking epic loot. It's gonna be amazing. So yeah, with that being said, though, I will see you all in the next video. Be sure to smack some faces with swords, and uh, of course, you guys know what's coming up. Headbutt.